they formed the ghetto in a part of Krakow, which was called Podgorze. And uh, we were squeezed, of course, in uh, two, three families in one apartment. I was lucky to be together with a neighbor of mine, which uh, who they were uh, very good friends of mine. And uh, then from ghetto, I was going to work uh, outside uh, in Plashov. There was a factory. Uh, brick and shingles factory. And I was still working in my capacity as a steno secretary in this establishment. Uh, but there was, that came a time where they forbid Jewish girls to work as stenos. So I had to work as a labor, a manual uh, a laborer uh, to, to sort uh, bricks and so forth. We had to have special passes to go out. Uh, we couldn't go out unless we had the passes, and the passes were valid only five days a week. Saturday, Sundays, they were not valid because we didn't work. On top of that, they took us to so-called Zwangsarbeit from the ghetto to shovel snow. Uh, we had to go, absolutely we had to go. We, saw, we, we and experienced a lot of humiliation doing that because unfortunately there were some people in town who, who derived a certain satisfaction out of seeing us young people, even some older people doing that. But we disregarded that and we did it, we had to do it. One Friday evening there was an annou announcement over loudspeakers that we had to report Saturday morning to this to the, that point to give our first. So we went Saturday morning and gave our first. We, were, we made a big joke out of it. We were laughing. Uh, we were standing in line. We were standing on the first because it was very cold. It was winter. And that was it. We, I think we had we, we tried to adjust to the situation. As, as much as it was terrible, we tried to make even a fun of it. Was there, much, was there enough food in the ghetto? Uh, we had, um, I think we, the food was uh, rationed, I think. We had some, in the ghetto on the black market, there was food to get. If you had the money, you could get food. 